Hey guys and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware and today we're targeting the lower end of the budget used GPU market here. We're talking about the best cards, at least value wise right now, that can get you into 1080p PC gaming without breaking the bank using your favorite used marketplace of all. Of course, we're going to be looking at eBay, but this would probably apply to pretty much any used marketplace as well. So go ahead, sit down, grab some popcorn, I guess, and uh, we're going to talk about these used GPUs. Now, before we get started, I want to kind of define what we're looking for here. Basically, I'm looking at the sort of lowest end GPUs that I would recommend somebody actually purchase here in 2020. And that's because if you go below these GPUs in performance, then you're going to start to run into problems where certain AAA titles just either won't run on them or they just won't run well. Like you may be able to get something like Red Dead Redemption 2 up and running on a very low end GPU or a very old GPU but the experience may not be so great, uh, especially considering once you start dropping below some of these cards we're gonna talk about, you really see the price to performance fall off drastically. Uh, GTX 1050 Ti's are a great example of this where you're paying more than you should for them and you're not getting great performance here in 2020 with a GTX 1050 Ti at 1080p on modern AAA titles. So the baseline we're basically going with is decent performance here in 2020 while not breaking the bank. We're kind of trying to target that $100 price range because that really seems to be where the price to performance really meshes up really well. So let's go ahead and talk about a few of these GPUs that are still pretty good value even in a pretty bad market right now. So here we go with the budget GPUs and we're sort of targeting anywhere from $100 to 125, 130, sort of in that range is kind of where I would set the baseline for getting a GPU. And that's just because once you start going below that price, you're really probably not getting very good price to performance. So my entry level point here with budget GPUs you should absolutely be looking at is the RX 470. And this has been the case now for a while. And I like to search, and this is just sort of a general rule for me, uh, I get the category set to graphics cards, then I search RX 470, I set it to price lowest to highest with buy it now selected just because that gives us access to the uh, the listings here on eBay that are readily available. Now, obviously, if you're willing to uh, use the auction format, then sure, you can go that route. But I've also found that a lot of these GPUs, because it seems like maybe it's a little bit more of a niche uh, product selling these specific GPU models, a lot of times with the auctions, you don't actually find um, many auctions to choose from. So if you end up sorting by ending soonest, for instance, you're really not seeing anything here that is not a buy it now type of a thing. So we're just gonna leave this as uh, priced lowest to highest and we start scrolling down here. And first and foremost, we immediately see this sponsored RX 470 armor graphics card. This is a DVI only option. So if you only plan on using one monitor, this would actually be a really good way to shave off some cost and still have a perfectly usable GPU. Now, there are some sacrifices there. Obviously, if you someday wanna to go to a dual monitor setup, that's gonna present a little bit of an issue. But if you're only planning on ever using one monitor, then that's not a bad way to go. Otherwise, right now, it looks like you're gonna be expecting to pay probably around $100 for a lot of these cards. Now, you may be able to find uh, some of these cards that are a little bit, and this Sapphire card I just clicked on is actually also a DVI only card. So again, you can definitely get these for, for a little bit cheaper than uh, the regular 470s, but you can also definitely find some decent deals. Here we have an RX 470. Uh, looks like $90 with a uh, best offer available, which I would definitely try out. So anyways, the RX 470 is my recommendation as the baseline. And that's mostly because if you jump up to the 570, you actually end up paying a little bit of a premium. Whereas we are able to find some 470s for the sub $100 range. It's very difficult right now to find an RX 570 at sub $100. Now, obviously we do have a buy it now here for $95. You might be able to get that down to 85 or even $90. So you might be able to get in a best offer there and save a little bit of money. But for the most part, you're going to pay around $100 for some of these 570s, whereas the 470s seem to go off for a little bit cheaper. And the same can be said of the RX 480, which is 
probably more of my recommended range right now. The 470s in modern AAA titles are starting to show their age a little bit more than these 480s. And you can get an RX 480 4GB card often for a very similar price as you can actually find those 470s or even those 570s while still getting a nice little performance bump. So it is not a bad idea. If you can scrounge up the money for a 470, then I would actually even at this point recommend jumping up to that 480. Even if you're getting one of these blower style cards, uh, they'll still perform okay because the 480 was not an overly hot card to begin with. This is not like you're running an R9 290X blower style card or an R9 290 or one of those older cards that was power hungry. The 480s are actually pretty good on their power requirements, so you can find them for a little bit over $100, generally speaking, though there are a couple options out there right now for the sub $100 price point, which would be really good for a budget builder. Again, with the 480s, I kind of avoid the 580s right now because they do seem to be just a little bit more expensive in general. Uh, this one, for instance, is one of our cheaper buy it now options at $110-ish after you get the, the shipping included. So. They are available and you will find a 580 occasionally for a really good deal. So it's not like you shouldn't at least look at them, but the 480s in general are going to be a better value right now than the 580s. So jumping over to Team Green then, if you're really just wanting an NVIDIA card, then I would recommend going with something like a GTX 970. And that's because right now the 1060s are still significantly more expensive then you'll generally find 480s and 580s and you're getting comparable performance there between like an eight gigabyte 480 and a six gigabyte 1060. Whereas the 970s here, while not keeping up with like an eight gigabyte 580, they're coming in pretty close to a four gigabyte 580. So this is not a bad option at all, though keep in mind these 970s in general, a lot of these are gonna require an eight pin as well as a six pin PCIe power connector. Uh, for example, this EVGA model, I know for a fact just because I have one that it does in fact require both those power connectors. So a lot of times you may end up needing a stronger power supply for these 970s than you would a 480 or a 580. So you might end up spending a little bit more in that department but if you already have a power supply that can actually support these cards then yeah a 970 is a really good value right now as far as nvidia cards go as an honorable mention i did want to bring up the gtx 980 now this one all depends on price right now they are priced a little bit higher than i would like to see them because they are going to perform somewhat similarly to an 8 gigabyte rx 580 which i believe right now are a little bit cheaper than something like the gtx 980 but sometimes you can find them at really good value values and provided that you could get a best offer in that the seller accepts you could even still find some of these at very reasonable prices on eBay and compared to the price to performance you're going to get with the GTX 10 series in most cases the 980s are often a good option to look out for though like I said right now their prices aren't great though obviously check back frequently if this is a card you're interested in because it is going to give you a nice little bump over something like a GTX 970 or an RX 584 gigabyte or RX 484 gigabyte card. So this one is definitely price dependent right now. Like I said, a little bit higher than I would like to see, but these prices do fluctuate frequently, especially as the new and used markets are very much volatile right now. So just keep an eye on prices and this one might be a card that would be worth sort of bookmarking this search just so you kind of know where it's at at any given point. And just so you kind of know why I've shied away from the GTX 1060s, this is basically why you're getting performance that is usually not quite up to a four gigabyte 480 or 580 and you're spending just a significant amount more even for a three gigabyte card then you can often find even the eight gigabyte 480s for. So uh, right now the GTX 1060 is not really a good deal, at least on the eBay front. You can sometimes find these for really good values locally, especially if you find some of the OEM ones uh, that came with some Dell computers. Uh, you can sometimes find those locally. I found a couple of them locally for very cheap. So obviously keep your eyes peeled on places like Facebook Marketplace 
and any other sort of local websites as well. But in general, on eBay, if you're looking to build with used parts right now, the 1060 is just not the way to go. Now with these GPUs, it is always worth checking out those local markets, whether we're talking about uh, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, some of those other places around the world. It is always worth checking out your local market because that's usually where you're gonna find the absolute best deals. But if you're just looking for something that's ready to go and you can just go and click buy now, then eBay is kind of the go-to with that. And in that regard, these are the best GPUs right now that'll get you up and running at 1080p gaming and not break the bank and also still give you decent performance here in 2020. But of course, I do wanna hear from you guys. Let me know about your good deals that you found recently in those comments down below. If you disagree with some of these GPUs that I mentioned, then maybe throw out your own suggestions as well. I would love for us to build a little bit of a database down there where people can go and look and see just what GPUs might be worth checking out. So just leave all your thoughts in those comments down below. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things are very helpful for the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.